Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, let's take a look, shall we, at the final leaderboard at the CJ Cup over the weekend. Rory McIlroy, despite closing with two bogeys, still gave himself enough of a cushion for a one-shot win over Kurt Kitayama, who is still searching for his first win on tour. You've also got John Rahm, who was leading at certain points on Sunday, coming off that win at the Spanish Open, uh, ultimately with a fine around 69 to tie for fourth after a derailing bogey on 14. So let's hear more shall we from the newly ranked world number one player in the world Rory McIlroy after his win if someone had told me on the Friday night of the Valero Texas Open when I missed the cut that I'd be world number one by October I uh, would have asked them what they were smoking because I would not have believed them so um, yeah it's just been a been a wild six months you know I just I I figured a few things out with my game and uh, I've just been on a on a really good run. Um, everything sort of feels like it's 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 came together for me, and um, you know today was just a continuation of, of how I've felt like I've been playing over these last few months, and um, you know and now it's all about going forward and, and and trying to just trying to just keep this going. Um, yeah, but it's it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I've you know. I, yeah, it's a lot to process right now, just with everything. But um, just really proud of myself with uh, with how I handled this week, knowing what what was at stake, and 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 really just you know how I've how I've played over over these last few months. You know, this this tournament last year was was the start of me trying to build myself back up to to this point. You know, I. I had a really rough Ryder Cup. You know, I've I've talked about that at length. Um, I think I was outside the top ten in the world. You know, I, it's not a position that I'm used to being in. And I think just the the steady climb back up to the the summit of world golf uh, and and what it takes, right? And what it takes, and it's not just me. It's it's everyone that's that's a part of my team. It's 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 not a solo effort. Uh, and I just think about everyone that's that's made a that's made a difference in my life obviously not over the last 12 months but ever but it's it's you know just thinking over that last 12 months there's a lot of people that deserve a lot of the plaudits and you know I'm the one that sits up here and um, and takes them but there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that um, people don't know about and, and all of that stuff combined is is just as important as, as what I do out there trying to trying to get these wins. So um, it's a team effort and I I think whenever I think about that I, I that's what gets me a little bit choked up and emotional because um, it's really cool to be on this journey with other people that you want to be on the journey with, you know, and, and that's that's a really cool part of it. Lastly for me, what uh, three wins this year. Uh, do any of them stand out? As, as more significant based on any other type of meeting that, that we might not see? Um, I think they're all sort of different. Uh, you know, battling with, with uh, JT and Tony in Canada was, was a lot of fun, uh, great atmosphere. Needed to pull some good shots out at the end. Um, battling with Scotty and then KH was was actually up there in tour championship as well so yeah I mean all you know all three wins I've had to I've had to go out there and win them right you know I shot 60 62 to win in Canada you know shot 66 at tour championship and then went out with the lead today and shot four under to win so you know it's I think that's been the real satisfying thing I've put myself in position all those those three times and went out there and and and, and got the job done and, and did what I needed to. So that's a, you know, they're 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 great strides and, and great steps in the right direction. Well, the Eastlake Cup is going on in Atlanta. The stroke play portion concluded on Monday. Here's the final leaderboard on the men's side. Gordon Sargent of Vanderbilt wins the individual title. He's your defending individual national champion as Sargent finished one shot ahead of Luke Potter and of Arizona State and Derek Hitchner of Pepperdine. And as for the women, it was Blanca Fernandez Garcia Pajillo of Texas A&M earning the victory. She raced out to a big lead and then put things away on 14 with an eagle, her second career collegiate win. 
So with that, I'm very pleased to welcome in our individual champion on the women's side at the East Lake Cup, Texas A&M's Blanca Fernandez Garcia Poijo. Uh, so good to see you. Congratulations. Opening round two under 75 birdies on the card. Uh, what did you say to yourself coming into today? Um, I was telling um, to myself, like, I just try to focus on every shot and commit to them. And then I've been playing since I was four, so I should be able to get a good round. And if not, I will have to keep working. You got off to a really good start. You kind of had a couple hiccups there coming in. What are you telling yourself to kind of calm yourself down to finish up a, a really solid round today? I was like, I was like, okay, you're playing really good. Just keep playing like you are, you know, like, like I was nervous and I was like trying to breathe and everything. And I was like, just keep doing the same thing. And um, that's what I was trying to do to cope with the pressure. Coach Chadwell has been in now the second year. What's it meant to have him as kind of the mentor there? What has he done to help you and the team get better uh, this year and last year as well? Oh, a lot of things. He's always like, um, like supporting us and he's like, he's like giving motivational speeches and like, you know, like when you hear like, when you get good motivation, then you go play better. And also like the environment, like is much competitive and I get to like um, compete to everyone. And at the same time, I'm also comfortable to everyone, with everyone on my team. And I love it. So when you like love everyone around you, then you play good, you know? You obviously have such a great dynamic uh, within your team. A really hot start for the Aggies today. What do you think coach will be telling you tonight as you move into tomorrow's semifinals? Um, I think he's going to tell us, like, he's going to be like, you are, all of you are good players and you have the game. You just have to, like, keep focus and, like, commit to the shots and we, we can have the trophy. And just finally, Blanca, you obviously you had a lot of success in Spain growing up. Uh, Spain is your home. You came over to the US and I believe you didn't speak a word of English. Your English now is fantastic. Talk us a little bit through that transition and how challenging that period was for you. Uh, it was really challenging at the beginning because I'm a really like familiar person and I have a hard time like leaving my country. And I didn't even talk in, like English, up, like maybe like like some words, but like almost nothing. So I was like, okay, I just have to go there and, you know, survive, you know, that was my first semester. And I really had like a, a friend that she helped me a lot. Like she was on the team, called me. And all my team, like she, they were really good also helping me. But she was trying always to like understand my English, you know, she was making the effort. And like that helped me, helped me a lot. And then the help of everyone like in college station all of them they were like helping all the time they were like if you don't understand something like ask and then like um ask everyone everyone is willing is going to help you and that's what i was doing asking for help and that's how i i'm here my fourth year yeah well that so, is that is a huge achievement in itself and i can tell your mm -hmm. english is much better than jim and my spanish <laughs> uh, so uh congratulations mm -hmm. your second individual college win and best of luck headed yep. into tomorrow's semis okay thank you have a good day